What's up, guys? It's Sebastian Seth H1 here, and I'm back with more Final Fantasy 15. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm coming down to cold. I have something in my throat. Between last time and this episode, though, a lot's happened. Off camera, I did a lot more work, and I need to lower the volume of the game because I forgot to do that. So, what, what happened? Uh, I did a few side quests. Got some money. Of course, now I don't have that money, but as you can see, I was level 31 when we finished the video. Now I'm level 56. The fuck, right? Basically, I found a way to get a lot of experience very quickly. And you could do it as early as Chapter 3 if you wanted, but I digress. There's tons of videos on it about about it on YouTube, and I tried it out, and it worked fine. But yeah, on top of that, I did a lot of work in Ascension. We got a lot more, a lot more skills. And now you want to might be wondering why I'm back at Sid. Well, I found out that the engine way that Noctis starts with. Not only is it upgradable once or twice, but it's upgradable three times. I'm about to pick it up. Here she is, your weapon reborn. Chris, appreciate it. Gotta say, that's a right old piece you managed to find. Must have been 30 odd years ago when they was in service over in Crown City. Finding the right tools for these relics took it out of me. Sorry to hear. Ah, but while I was rummaging through my stuff, an interesting item turned up. Go on, take it. What is it? A little something I'd loaned to your old man during our trip way back when. Reggie loved it so much he'd find every chance he could to help me out with it. But when it came time for him to give it back, he scratched some nonsense into it. Nonsense? Always irked me, so it's fitting I dump it on the sun. So, like, you got a hammer. And a story to go with it. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. An unexpected side of His Majesty. Yeah, it is. Stand up straight, boy. So. <clears throat> Mind you, notice, notice what I got there. Yeah, the Ultima Blade. The Ultima Weapon. You can get this as early as Chapter 3 if you want. Holy fuck. I'm using this. Alright. On top of that, I also upgraded the Regalia to be more customizable. I gave it a white paint job with gold wheels and a caramel brown internal. It looks nice. Yeah. <clears throat> But let's go to our destination, because it's time to advance the story forward. Hate feeling that sticky feel in the throat, you know? It sucks. But I'll tell, say this, the grinding for rare coins bit for the trick I learned, that shit was annoying. <clears throat> and I would have gotten more experience too if I actually unlocked uh, a city further in the game, Altissa. Because I know there's a, the hotel there instead of 2.0, like Golden K, gives you three. It's getting hot out here. Just need to pull in somewhere cool. Yeah. Any chance of uh, sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure suitable accommodations nearby.
Yeah, not right now, guys. We have an adventure to go on. Speaking of the Ultima Blade, where is it? There it is. To get the uh, the first upgrade, really, there's a item right here on this table. As soon as you get to Lestalem, called the glass uh, glass eye. something gem gemstone glass gemstone. That's required, and then there's another one uh, rusted bit, which is actually in Hammerhead itself. You can grab for the first upgrade. And then the last item you need is from a hunt that's over in um, Old Lestalem, right here. And you just need to get a sturdy helix horn, which you can get from right here. The enemies are right here. Once you have that, you can easily upgrade. But let's talk to Ice. You're not a terrorist group. I'm sorry. Iris. Ready to roll? Let's get this show on the road. Let's hit it. Sure. Looking at the regalia really reminds me of home. It sure doesn't look like any of the cars you see around here. And it's a lot roomier, too. I can't imagine trying to cram five people, including Gladi, into one of those things. Have you ever ridden in one? Can't say we have. There was barely enough room for our luggage. Thank goodness you guys could give me a lift. Think the others made it to Kayam all right? Well, I suppose we'll find out when we get there. You might also notice I fixed up the regalia so it doesn't look like it went through a car crash. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Try to stay. Oh, check it out. See that? That's the Rock of Ravito. I'm like 90% sure. Not 100. You almost know your stuff. Oh, thanks to Jared. Trying to stay mute for when they speak. And Iris just had to speak there. Bitch. <laughs> Thank you for driving, Ignis. Pleasure. Are you the only one that drives? I can drive. And so can I. It's not like Iggy's the only one who can drive. He's just the only one we can trust. Wow, are they that bad? Not bad at all, right? Right. But there's no way the big guy's taking any chances with his little sister in the car. Sure you don't need a break? I'm okay. You are sandwiched in back there. Have Prompto suffer instead. Really, it's fine. No suffering here. If you say so. I got some bad news, guys! Oh, great. Another floating fortress. Let's pull out uh, knocked. Relax. We've got this. Taking matters into hand? Delivering justice for Jared. And for Talca, too. Iris, I'll need you to wait here. All right.
You might have noticed that she just left the party. You can actually have her in a Careful battle with you. Knocked. Only fools rush in. I suggest we review our intelligence and devise a plan. That's right, because you can only do this at night. to see him this far out. Leave no plot of land unconquered. Those aren't conquering numbers. Likely building a supply line it would behoove us to cut. Alright, oh, I, I wanted to see how strong this is. That's eh, not bad. Oh, looks the same as before. Looks can be deceiving. We beat them once. They won't make it easy this time. And neither will we. Do you think Eris is doing all right? She is all alone. Hmm. She's a big girl. She'll be fine. Let there be light. Iris isn't exactly a bring em on backstreet brawler, is she? Well, she's tough, but I'd feel better if we got this over with and got back on the road. Imperials above us! Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right next to a base, we know. Peeled, mouth closed. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me because this pipe's here. I can't jump it. Oh, yeah, you might want to. You guys might want to switch your side of the fence. Just saying. Oh, look, you fixed it. Okay, you cheated. Yep. 
so. What's our plan? Find the base commander and take him into custody. Targeting metal men will yield little in the way of reconnaissance, but bones bend easily. We'll split into two groups of two. Prompto and Gladio will generate a diversion. Oh yeah, making a scene's what I do best. Noct, are you prepared? Operation to catch a commander is go. Open do this. So it's gonna be me and Ignis. The insolence of that up-jumped mercenary. And there is still no word. This cannot be borne. Such behavior besmirches his Radiance's good name. That's our target. Let's follow him. Seize him on my signal. Stay hidden till then. that Chancellor playing at. I'm no man's fool. He sent Highwind to watch me. It's no mere coincidence she and I meet wherever I go. Claims to trust her as a person. <sighs> Hollow words from the mind behind the Magitek. Okay, let's move over here. Before Caligo Aldor. I'll give Highwind one last chance to respond. Stand guard here. If the Commodore arrives, send her through.
Now's your chance, Noct. Close him from behind. And remember, we need him alive. Don't worry. Fine form. Keep it up. Ooh. Looks like they've set to work. I'll escort him off the base. You will group with the others. Yes, it's time to let loose. to see you lot were successful. Does that mean you weren't? I placed our captive into the hunter's custody, but I've just been informed he's fled. He lives to die another day, and I'll gladly help him with that. Interesting. Okay. Bitch. Ah, uh, is it that time already? What time? Quitting time. Sorry, but this girl doesn't work after hours. I could, but there wouldn't be a single gill in it for me. Hmm. We should play again sometime, pretty boy. <sighs> 
<sighs> Who the hell was she? It's my question. I'm still worried about Iris. I imagine she's fine. But we shouldn't keep her waiting. You're back. Did you kick their asses? Oh, yeah. All in a day's work. Hey, mind if I hang in your guys' room for a bit? Not a bad shot, if I do say so myself. Not bad. It's great! You could be a professional cameraman. <laughs> oh, I hold on to the hope. Isn't this Kentiana? Yeah. She was here, huh? She was? The photo would suggest so. I guess. Memory must be playing tricks. Interesting, she's still watching us. Now Iris is back in the party. See her on the, the right. She can fight, by the way, if you take her with you. So technically, you could have a fifth party member, but she's very weak. Very, very weak. Nice to see five party members now, but it's time to continue our road trip. And away we go. Around. Given her prowess, you should be glad you didn't. Yeah, the Loki guy was nothing compared to her. Though we may not have fared so well without the Marshal. Think things would have gone differently if you were here now? Well, she offered to play again. Maybe we'll get the chance to find out. I have a feeling Claudio wants to fuck that girl. Just, just, just a feeling. begging to be explored. Never been one to turn down an invitation. If what they say about the Malmalum thicket is true, then we might just find what we're looking for here. I don't like the woods. Too many monsters. Are you kidding? What could be better than roughing it out here? <laughs> A million other things could be better. We 
made it. All right. Oh, while you guys were gone, I saw a chocobo run past, and it had a person on its back. Have you guys ever ridden one before? I bet it'd be super fun. <laughs> Funny you should ask. Knocked. Call a bird for the lady. Oh. Can I buy one here? I guess she will help us in combat after all. First thing first though, I need to ref refill my shit. Wait, really? Really? On your right. Thanks. Yeah, we're not here to fuck with them. We're here to get fucking treasure. The hunt is on. Or not. You want to fuck with me? I'll, I'll fuck with you. Watch yourself, knocked. I know. Here goes nothing. Watch out. Okay, so follow the path. <clears throat> I really should order the chocobos.
Watch out! I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. You don't want to talk. <clears throat> get back! <clears throat> what? Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> You more of you. How many times? Enough talk. Yeah. Time for some action. Oh look, he agrees with me. Our best would be over gotcha. here. Fuck you, I'm uh, disobeying your sign, sir. Step lightly in here. There's no telling what'll crawl out of the woodwork. <clears throat> Interesting crab pinchers would be some here. Slimy bug and ruin my nice kicks. Find anything rare or exotic yet? Slow down. We just got here. You know, if rare treasures were easy to find, they wouldn't be rare. We'll see about that. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. regular river, I'd say. Oh, I think we have time to cast a line? Sorry, bud. Need you to reel yourself in this time around. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't really a good pun. Come on, Pompa, you can do better. Hey, I know those runes. It's a sign. We should set up camp. You a fortune teller now? We can rest up or move on. It's your choice, no. The current doesn't carry you away. I'm not sure my footwear is up to this. Don't let yourself get pulled in. Yeah, let's camp. Let's start preparing for supper. Oh, uh, let me help.
Wow. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Cold, cold. Freezing cold! You ought to stand under that one. Just keeps going on from here. Then we keep going, too. This place is... cozy? Well, I wouldn't get too comfy if I were you. Right. We're not out of the woods yet. A banner snatch? Oh, man, am I glad to be out of there. Don't speak. Oh, not so glad anymore! Not surprised either. It's what we came for. Let's have it. Let nothing stand in your way. You've got my back. Holden Square. Where is Iris? Are you gonna get in the fight? Iris. Say your prayers. God. Treasure. I want to see what. Feels good to get it done. Yeah, almost makes up for the soaked socks and bug bites. Huh? Ah, 
was nice though. Nice to not have enemies all over the dungeon. Let's hit it. Sure. Let's go. Are you guys excited to visit Altisha or what? I guess. I'm so jealous. We're not going on vacation. Oh, yeah. You're right. There is? Something wrong? What? No, I'm fine. I I'm not jealous. I just had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. But that'll all be in the past once we hit Kayam. What are you talking about? We can hang out anytime, right? Yeah. Let's pull over for a sec. How come? Well, I gotta give the driver a break every now and then. If you say so. Wonder why no one ever thought of that before. Because no one ever had a little sister along for the ride. <clears throat> that was a tight squeeze. Sorry for cramping your style. Calm down. I'm just kidding. Not my fault you're too big for the back seat. Any reason? No. Oh. Heard about the Imperial base? Yeah, some Lucians went in and raised hell. They raised hell, all right. Put the base commander in the hospital. Sounds like Lady Lunafreya is staying in Altitia. Is it safe for her there? I mean, Accordo is Imperial territory. Surprised to see two random teams of people standing here for no reason without a car. But why did we stop here? Is there something that we need to do? No? Okay. All right, move out. Yeah. Excuse me. That was interesting. It smells like there's salt <clears throat> in the air. Sea breeze. We're on the water. Wow. It's beautiful. Picture perfect. Get a load of this beautiful view. Yeah, like something out of a dream. Just don't fall asleep on me. There you go. I fell asleep on you. Wow. 
Look at that bridge up ahead. Hmm. Some piece of work right there. The rivers run wide out here, so the bridges run long. Guess I'll see it when we cross. Wanna get a closer look? At what? We made it. Huh. So what are we looking at? The sea is beautiful, but what are we looking at, though? Iris, what are we looking for? Why do we make the stop? Well, nice here, <laughs> indeed. make the stop <clears throat> you don't want to tell me that felt kind of stupid the last two stops kind of felt dumb I don't know why they were there let's hit it sure We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Let's go. Really? She gets a special color? Enjoying yourself, Iris? I'm going on ahead! Whoa, pretty impressive lighthouse. What say we head on up? Ought to be a nice view. What's up? Knew it was y'all. Recognize the purr of that engine anywhere. Whew, you know your stuff. Thanks for the ride. We'll meet again. Thanks for the ride. Have to do it. It was fun. How's the boat? Papa's tinkering away. Reckon he'll be tinkering for some time. Trouble at sea. Seen her share by the looks of her. Some parts we can fix, others need replacing. 
an overhaul. Don't y'all worry. Papa ain't going nowhere till the job's done. Parts won't fetch themselves, though. Was kind of hoping y'all wouldn't mind helping out with that. We're at your disposal. To tell the truth, we already got a couple hands on deck. Dustin and Monica. Those two have been real swell. Managed to gather just about everything we need. You can depend on the Crown's Guard. Trouble is, they ain't had much luck finding a certain something by the name of Mithril. Apparently, the stuff's hard to come by around these parts. At least according to the little fella from the city. Talcott? You betcha. Sharp as a tack, that one. Could tell y'all more about the stuff than I could. We'll be sure to ask. Papa's down on the dock. Now, if y'all excuse me, I'm gonna grab my tools and ski daddle. Got a garage to look after. Prince Noctis! Hey! Our house is over here! Right this way! I think Miss Cindy might have told you already. But she needs a very special kind of ore called Mithril to fix the boat. Remember the waterfall? I read in Grandpa's notebook. There's some ruins near a lake just north of there. It said you'll find Mithril inside. About that lake, pretty sure he was talking about the Vesper Pool. I asked Monica to look into it, and she told me the road leading there is under Imperial lockdown. You'll want to be prepared for anything. So, how's that coming along? And I think that's a good place to cut the episode. So next time on Final Fantasy XV, we'll be continuing the story. And moving on ahead. I'm sorry, this whole episode was literally a trip with Iris. With random stops. But hey, we got another sword. <clears throat> on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Goodbye.